Now to the vaccine could be the magic bullet to this disease. So once we have a vaccine, who will get it first? A Chicago doctor is part of a group of scientists, engineers, and doctors giving their recommendations to the CDC. CBS 2's Meredith Bear live with what we can expect once that vaccine is available to the public. Meredith? Brad, there are currently 190 COVID-19 vaccines, either in preclinical development or undergoing clinical trials across the globe. Experts believe that once one of those vaccines is authorized for use, demand will exceed supply. Therefore, they have come up with a plan they say will be most beneficial for society. What we did was to look at um, some core foundational principles as well as ways of thinking about risk and who most needed the vaccine with the understanding that for a while uh, there would be a scarcity in the supply of vaccines. With that, Dr. Helene Gale and the Committee on Equitable Allocation of Vaccine for the Novel Coronavirus broke down who will receive the vaccine first into four phases by looking at who would be at highest risk for transmission as well as highest risk for severe morbidity and mortality and who had important roles in society. Phase 1A includes health care workers uh, as well as first responders. Phase 1B would be people with underlying conditions and elderly who live in places like nursing homes. Phase 2 includes teachers, essential workers and people living in places like detention centers or homeless shelters. Phase 3 includes young adults, children and workers in industries that pose a moderately high risk of exposure. And finally, phase four. Basically, anybody residing in the United States because we feel like ultimately everybody should have access to this vaccine. So how would it be distributed across the country? Some of the vaccines have very stringent requirements and may not be able to be given in the way that we have now where we go and get a flu shot. But, you know, for most of the vaccines that we hope will be soon available, We've got a distribution system in place. We have agencies who know how to work together. As for when Dr. Gale thinks this could all become a reality? Once we do have a safe and effective vaccine, I think that we can ramp up production fairly quickly. Um, so, you know, I'm hopeful that sometime in the first half of 2021, we'll be uh, off and running and we'll be able to start getting vaccines to people. Dr. Gale tells me that while vaccine distribution is an essential part of pandemic response, other efforts such as social distancing, contact tracing, and wearing masks will continue to be vital, especially in those early days of early phases of vaccination. Reporting live in the loop, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS2 News. Meredith, thank you. When COVID-19 news breaks, you see it first on our new app. Just search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.